Welcome back, coin enthusiasts today. We're diving into the world of Monticello Jefferson Nickels, exploring the top 10 most valuable ultra-rare nickels in today's market. These 5-cent coins, minted from 1938 to 2003, have captured the attention of collectors due to their historical significance and the occasional minting errors that make them exceptionally valuable. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a curious newcomer, you're in for a treat. Let's jump right in first up. The Monticello Jefferson Nickel from 1943 with the large S mint mark. This coin is not just a simple 5 cent piece it holds significant value in today's market, especially in extra fine condition. So, let's explore its history, unique features, and, most importantly, how much it's worth today. Stay tuned till the end to find out its big market value in dollar. First, let's give you some background. The Jefferson Nickel was first introduced in 1938, replacing the Buffalo Nickel. Designed by Felix Schlag, the obverse of the coin features a profile of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States and the author of the Declaration of Independence. On the reverse side, you'll find his famous estate, Monticello. Now, the 1943 nickel is particularly interesting because it was minted during World War II, a time when the United States faced a shortage of nickel metal, which was essential for the war effort to conserve nickel for military use. The mint began producing what we now call wartime nickels from a silver alloy instead. The result is a 35% silver composition, making these nickels stand out not only in terms of historical significance, but also in material value. One of the key identifiers of this 1943 Jefferson nickel is the large S mint mark, which stands for the San Francisco Mint. Unlike typical mint marks that are small and located on the reverse side near Monticello, the mint mark on the 1943 nickel is large and prominently placed above Monticello. This change was made to make these wartime nickels easily distinguishable from the regular nickel coins. The large S mint mark is highly sought after by collectors today, and it adds considerable value to the coin. Only a limited number of these coins were minted in San Francisco, making them rarer than those minted in Philadelphia and Denver during the same period. Now, let's talk about condition. When we say this coin is in extra fine condition, it means it shows minimal wear and still retains much of its original detail. The high points of Jefferson's hair and Monticello's columns may show slight signs of wear, but overall, the coin looks quite sharp. For collectors, the condition of the coin is extremely important as it can greatly influence its value. To be classified as extra fine the coin must have well-defined details on Jefferson's hair, the lettering, and the steps of Monticello should still be visible with some softness. Collectors prefer coins in such condition because they are closer to the uncirculated state, which means they've been well preserved over the years. Now, let's get to the part you've all been waiting for the market value. The 1943 Jefferson Nickel with the large S mint mark in extra fine condition is considered a prized item among collectors. While the coin's silver content gives it intrinsic value, the rarity of the large S mint mark combined with the coin's excellent condition boosts its price significantly. As of today, the market value of a 1943 Jefferson nickel with a large S mint mark in extra fine condition can range anywhere between $370,000. However, in some auctions, if the coin is particularly well preserved or has a strong demand, it can fetch even higher prices, sometimes reaching up to $500,000 or more. The value of these coins tends to fluctuate based on market conditions, silver prices, and collector interest. The wartime nickels, especially those minted in San Francisco, are always in demand due to their historical significance and limited mintage. Why this coin is special so? Why is this coin special? The 1943 Jefferson nickel isn't just any coin. It's a piece of history from a time when the United States was deeply involved in World War II. Its silver composition is a reminder of how even the smallest aspects of life, like the metal used in everyday currency, were affected by the war effort. The large S mint mark, in particular, represents a rare variant that collectors are eager to add to their collections. On top of that, this coin has both intrinsic value due to its silver content and collectible value due to its rarity and historical significance. That combination makes it a highly valuable piece in today's market. To wrap it up, if you happen to own a 1943 Montitello Jefferson nickel with a large S mint mark, you're holding on to a coin that has both historical significance and a nice market value, especially if it's in extra fine condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, this is one coin you'll want to keep an eye on in auctions or coin shows. Next up explore a remarkable coin from the Monticello Jefferson Nickel series the 1965 cent piece with a D-mint mark, 
specifically in a unique color shade condition. If you're a collector or just curious about valuable coins, this episode is for you. The Monticello Jefferson nickel was introduced in 1938, featuring the likeness of President Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his famous Monticello home on the reverse. The 1960 issue is part of this iconic series, and today we're focusing on those struck at the Denver Mint, which bears the D-Mint mark. However, today it's the condition and unique characteristics that make certain 1960 nickels stand out. Now, let's examine the 1960D nickel in color shade condition. What makes this coin special is its unique color tone, which can range from light golden hues to deep red or brown shades. This discoloration often results from the coin's interaction with its environment over time, sometimes due to improper storage or chemical reactions. Collectors and investors value these color-shaded nickels for their rarity and aesthetic appeal. While most 1960D nickels are not particularly valuable, those with unique color characteristics can fetch impressive prices on the market. So, what's the current market value for a 1960D nickel in color shade condition? The answer can vary based on the intensity of the color and the overall condition of the coin. Generally, these coins in good color shade condition can range from $350,000 however, in exceptional condition with vibrant colors and minimal wear, prices can skyrocket to over $700,000 or more. Collectors are often drawn to these coins not just for their numismatic value, but also for their unique visual appeal. If you have a 1960D nickel with a striking color shade, it's worth having it appraised by a professional. Authenticity and grading will play significant roles in determining its final value. That wraps up our exploration of the 1960D Monticello Jefferson nickel in color shade condition. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting, understanding the nuances of each coin can help you make informed decisions in the world of numismatics. Next up the Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1953 with a D mint mark. Specifically, we'll explore its black color shade condition and its impressive market value today. First, let's set the stage with some background on the Monticello Jefferson nickel. This nickel series was introduced in 1938 and continued until 2003. Named after the home of President Thomas Jefferson, the coin features a portrait of Jefferson on the obverse and his iconic home on the reverse. The 1953 issue is particularly notable for its detailed depiction of Jefferson's home, Monticello, which makes it a desirable collectible. But today, we're focusing on the 1953D variant, which was minted in Denver. Now, what makes this coin particularly interesting is its black color shade condition. This unusual color can result from a variety of factors, such as environmental exposure or improper storage. While black-toned coins are less common, they often attract attention due to their unique appearance. In numismatic circles, a blackened nickel can be seen as a variation rather than a standard condition. The black color can sometimes enhance the visual appeal for collectors who appreciate distinctive features in their collections. So, what's this coin worth in today's market? The value of a Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1953 with a D-mint mark in black color shade condition can vary widely based on several factors, including the extent of the color change and overall coin condition. Generally, this particular coin in a black color shade can command a premium price. In average condition, it might be worth around $233,000, but in pristine black shade condition, prices can soar to $476,000 or more. Some collectors are willing to pay a premium for these unique features, especially if the coin is well-preserved. For those looking to add a Monticello Jefferson Nickel 1953D to their collection, here are a few tips. Always check for authenticity and condition. Black color shade coins can be rare, but make sure the discoloration is genuine and not artificially induced. Consulting with a trusted coin dealer or using reputable grading services can also help ensure you're getting a true collector's item. That's a wrap on today's exploration of the Monticello Jefferson Nickel 1953D in black color shade condition. Next up the 1962 Monticello Jefferson Nickel with a D mint mark, especially in that striking red color shade condition. Stick around as we explore its value and why it might be a gem in your collection. Let's take a closer look at this beauty. The 1962 Jefferson Nickel was minted in both Philadelphia and Denver, with the D-Mint mark indicating it's from the Denver Mint. What makes this coin particularly intriguing is its red color shade condition, which is quite unusual for nickels from this era. In general, Jefferson Nickels have a silvery appearance due to their composition of 75% copper and 25% nickel. However, the red color shade on this 1962 coin is a result of unique toning or oxidation over time. 
this reddish tint can significantly enhance its aesthetic appeal and collectible value. So what exactly does red color shade mean in the context of coins? Well, this term refers to the coin's surface coloration, which can range from reddish brown to a deeper, more vibrant red. The color often results from environmental exposure, including factors like humidity and air quality interacting with the coin's metal. The rarest and most valuable examples have a more consistent and intense red hue. On the obverse, you'll find the iconic portrait of Thomas Jefferson, designed by Felix Schlag. On the reverse, the Monticello building, also designed by Schlag, represents Jefferson's Virginia estate. The D-Mint mark is positioned just below Monticello, signifying the Denver Mint's production. Now, let's talk numbers. In terms of market value, the 1962 Jefferson Nickel, with the D-Mint mark in a red color shade condition, can command a premium. While standard examples of this coin are typically worth $500,000, those with exceptional color shades can fetch significantly higher prices. Depending on the intensity of the red hue and the coin's overall condition, you might see values ranging from $780,000 or more. Remember, the coin's value also depends on factors like its rarity, demand among collectors, and the specifics of its red coloration. If you have a 1962 Jefferson Nickel in this unique condition, it might be worth having it appraised by a professional numismatist or coin grading service. For those of you looking to add this kind of coin to your collection, keep an eye out for well-preserved examples with striking red coloration. They might just be the centerpiece of your collection or a valuable addition to your investment portfolio. That wraps up our deep dive into the 1962 Monticello Jefferson Nickel with the D-Mint mark in red color shade condition. Next up the Monticello Jefferson Nickel from 1963 with a D-Mint mark in a unique color shade condition. Stick around as we uncover its current market value and why it's generating such buzz among collectors. This is the 1963 Jefferson Nickel, minted with a D mark indicating it was produced at the Denver Mint. Known for its classic design, this nickel features Thomas Jefferson's portrait on the obverse and Monticello on the reverse. But what sets this particular coin apart is its color shade condition. In numismatic terms, color shade refers to the unique patina or toning that develops on a coin over time. For the 1963 Jefferson Nickel, this could range from a light golden hue to a more pronounced rainbow iridescence. This coloration often results from the chemical reactions between the coin's metal and environmental factors such as air and moisture. The 1963 Jefferson Nickel was struck during a period of transition in coin production, featuring the familiar designs by Felix Schlag. Although not particularly rare in general, its unique color shade and mint mark add layers of interest for collectors. The Denver Mint produced these coins in large quantities, but those with distinctive color shades are much rarer. When it comes to valuing coins, condition is everything. The 1963 Jefferson Nickel's value is significantly influenced by its grade, which is determined by factors such as wear, strike quality, and, in this case the color shade. Coins are graded on a scale from poor to mint state, and the color shade can enhance the appeal, often leading to higher valuations. For a 1963 Jefferson Nickel, with a D mint mark in a color shade condition, market value can vary widely. As of today, well-preserved examples with striking color can command prices ranging from $600,000, depending on the exact hue and how it affects the overall appearance of the coin. Recent auction results and sales data suggest that coins in exceptional color shade condition have been fetching premium prices. For instance, a nickel with a vibrant, eye-catching tone might see values on the higher end of the spectrum. Collectors are particularly interested in these unique pieces, driving up their market value. So if you have a 1963 Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark, take a closer look at its color shade. It could be worth more than you think. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding these nuances can help you make informed decisions and potentially find hidden gems in your own collection. Next up the Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1962 with the D-mint mark. If you're a collector or just curious about the value of this coin, you're in the right place. Let's explore why this particular nickel holds significant value in today's market. Here we have a 1962 D. Jefferson nickel, minted in Denver. This coin is part of the Monticello series, which honors President Thomas Jefferson. The 1962 D is noteworthy not just for its historical context, but also for its value in extra fine condition. To understand the value of the 1962 D nickel, Let's start with a bit of background. The Monticello design on the nickel features a portrait of Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and an image of his home, Monticello, on the reverse. 
This design was created by Felix Schlag and has been a staple of the five-cent piece since 1938. Condition is key in coin collecting, and the term extra fine refers to a coin that shows very minimal wear. On the 1962D nickel, this means the coin retains sharp details on Jefferson's profile, the Monticello building, and other design elements. While it may have slight wear or marks, it should be in otherwise excellent shape. Now, let's talk value. As of today, a 1962D Jefferson nickel in extra fine condition can fetch a notable price. While common in lower grades, a coin in extra fine condition stands out due to its preservation and relative scarcity compared to more worn examples. Prices can vary based on a number of factors including market demand, the overall condition of the coin, and even the specific grading by professional coin grading services. As of recent estimates, an extra fine 1962D nickel can range from $560,000. This range reflects typical auction prices and dealer listings, but exceptional examples can command higher prices. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, understanding the value of coins, like the 1962D Jefferson nickel, is crucial. It's not just about the money, it's about preserving a piece of history. If you have this coin or are thinking about acquiring one, Keep an eye on its condition and grading to get the best value. Next up, the Monticello Jefferson Nickel Series, the 1964 nickel with a D mint mark, and we'll be exploring its value in today's market. To start, let's set the stage. The Monticello Jefferson nickel was first minted in 1938 to honor Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. The 1964 edition is part of the series that continued to showcase Jefferson's likeness on the obverse and his Monticello estate on the reverse. Now, specifically talking about the 1964 nickel, it was struck in Philadelphia and Denver. The D-mint mark on our coin signifies that it was minted in Denver. The coin we're discussing today is in very fine condition, which means it shows clear details but with some wear. In very fine condition, the 1964 Denver mint nickel will have most of the design details visible. You'll notice Jefferson's profile on the obverse and the Monticello building on the reverse, with some wear on the high points of the design. This wear does not detract significantly from the coin's overall appeal, but rather gives it a character that seasoned collectors appreciate. So, what's this coin worth today? The value of a 1964 Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark in very fine condition can vary based on several factors, including demand and overall market conditions. As of now, this coin typically ranges from $400,000. For those coins in higher grades, such as extra fine or uncirculated the value can significantly increase, but even in very fine condition, the 1964D nickel holds its value as a piece of history and a collectible item. While the 1964 Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark might not be the highest value coin out there, it's still a great addition to any collection. Its value could increase over time, especially as collectors seek out pieces with historical significance or unique mint marks. In conclusion, the 1964 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D-mint mark in very fine condition is a noteworthy coin for collectors. It's an excellent example of mid-20th century American coinage and offers both historical value and collectible appeal. Next up, the Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1976 with a D-mint mark, specifically focusing on its market value in uncirculated condition. If you're a fan of rare coins or just curious about their potential worth, stick around. Here it is the 1976 D Monticello Jefferson nickel. This coin is a part of the series that was introduced in 1938, featuring the image of President Thomas Jefferson on the obverse and his home, Monticello, on the reverse. But today we're zeroing in on the 1976 edition with the Denver Mint mark. Let's start with the obverse side of the coin. It features a classic portrait of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States. This design, created by Felix Schlag, has been a staple in American coinage for decades. On the 1976 coin, you'll notice Jefferson's likeness is accompanied by the date 1976 and the words Liberty and In God We Trust. The D-mint mark, found just below Jefferson's portrait, indicates that this coin was minted in Denver. Turning the coin over, we see the reverse side showcasing Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia estate. The design is relatively straightforward but rich in historical significance. The reverse also bears the inscriptions Monticello e Pluribus Unum and Five Cents. What makes the 1976 D. Monticello Jefferson nickel particularly interesting is its condition. Uncirculated coins are those that have never been used in circulation, meaning they are in pristine condition with no wear or damage. For collectors, 
This is a crucial factor as it significantly influences the coin's value. In today's market, an uncirculated 1976 D. Monticello Jefferson nickel can be quite valuable. While common circulated versions of this coin might only be worth face value or a small premium, uncirculated examples command a much higher price. The value of these coins is driven by their excellent condition and the demand among collectors. As of now, uncirculated 1976 D. nickels are typically valued between $300,000 however, Prices can vary based on factors such as the coin's exact grade and the current market trends. Coin collecting trends can also influence the market value. Interest in specific years or mint marks can fluctuate, impacting the value of coins like the 1976 D. Monticello nickel. For collectors, keeping an eye on auction results and market trends is essential to understanding the true value of their coins. If you have a 1976 D. Monticello Jefferson nickel in uncirculated condition, it might be worth more than you think. Consider having it appraised by a professional or taking it to a coin show to get a better sense of its market value. Next up the 1960 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D mint mark, specifically in a yellow color shade condition. If you're passionate about numismatics or just curious about the value of unique coins, you're in for a treat. Here we have the 1960 Monticello Jefferson nickel, which is a classic example of mid 20th century American coinage. This coin was minted during a period of significant change in the U.S. minting process and is known for its distinct design and historical value. The obverse of the coin features the profile of Thomas Jefferson, the third president of the United States, designed by Felix Schlag. The reverse showcases Monticello, Jefferson's Virginia home, also designed by Schlag. This coin was minted at the Denver Mint, indicated by the D-Mint mark. What makes this particular coin stand out is its unique yellow color shade, this coloration can be attributed to the coin's exposure to certain environmental factors or the chemical reactions over time. It's not a standard color for this nickel, which makes it quite intriguing and valuable. In terms of market value, the 1960 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a D mint mark in yellow color shade can command a premium price. While the standard 1960 Jefferson nickel is not extremely rare, those with unique color variations like this one can be worth significantly more. As of today, a 1960 Monticello Jefferson nickel in a yellow color shade condition can fetch anywhere from $950,000, depending on the intensity of the color, the overall condition of the coin, and current market demand. Coins in pristine or uncirculated condition with these unique traits are often at the higher end of this range. For instance, recent auctions have seen similar coins selling for impressive amounts, particularly if they come with certification from reputable grading services it's always a good idea to get your coin appraised by a professional to determine its exact value. If you come across a 1960 Monticello Jefferson nickel with a yellow color shade, it's definitely worth considering adding it to your collection or selling it to the right buyer. The rarity of the color variation and the historical significance of the coin make it a valuable piece for collectors. Next up, the Monticello Jefferson nickel from 1969 with a D-mint mark in extra fine condition. If you're a coin enthusiast or just curious about its value, you're in the right place. Let's take a closer look at the 1969 Monticello Jefferson nickel. Minted by the Denver Mint, this nickel features the iconic Monticello building on the reverse side and Thomas Jefferson's portrait on the obverse. The D Mint mark, located on the reverse just to the right of Monticello, indicates it was struck at the Denver Mint. The 1969 Jefferson nickel came at a time when the US was adjusting to new coin designs and materials. The Jefferson nickel, first minted in 1938, has undergone various design changes over the decades. By 1969, it featured a simple yet elegant depiction of Jefferson's estate, Monticello, a design that remains beloved by collectors. Now, let's talk about condition. The term extra fine refers to a specific grade in the coin grading scale. An extra fine coin is one that shows minimal wear, with most of the design details still crisp and clear. For our 1969 Jefferson nickel, this means the coin will have sharp details on Jefferson's hair and Monticello, with only light wear visible. Here's a quick rundown of what to look for in an extra fine coin. The high points of the design, like Jefferson's hair and the details on Monticello, should be well defined. The coin might show some wear, but it will still retain a high level of detail compared to coins in lower grades. So, what's the market value of a 1969 Monticello Jefferson nickel in extra fine condition today? The value can vary based on factors such as demand, rarity, and the specific grading of the coin.
However, as of now, a nickel in extra fine condition typically fetches around $600,000. In recent auctions and sales, 1969 Jefferson nickels with the D-mint mark in extra fine condition have been sold for prices on the higher end of this range, depending on their precise condition and any unique features. Coins with exceptionally sharp details or minor variations can command even higher prices. If you're looking to add a 1969 Monticello Jefferson nickel to your collection, here are a few tips first. Always verify the authenticity of the coin and its grade. Second, purchase from reputable dealers or auction houses. Finally, consider getting the coin professionally graded to potentially increase its value. Wraps up our deep dive into the 1969 Monticello Jefferson nickel with the D-Mint mark. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Coins Old World PK for more content on rare coins and collectibles. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching and happy collecting!